10 coolest creepy crawl eyes in anime. When it comes to compelling characters, few art forms opt to depict creepy crawl eyes. If characters based on moths, spiders, or mosquitoes appear, it's usually as gross, one note monsters who are there to send a shiver up the spine. However, that's not the case in anime. Anime artists have fully embraced the visual potential of bugs, exploring their creepy aspects for tragic villains and conflicted heroes, and accentuating cute details to make them surprisingly adorable. Here, then, are the 10 greatest creepy crawly characters in anime, from the heroic to the terrifying to the cute and friendly. The best anime bugs have unique designs while also mining thematic depth from their insectoid or arachnid nature, as these entries prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. 10. Rossini, Berserk. The star of one of Berserk's most memorable fight scenes. Combining a childlike innocence with a monstrous moth-like form, Rossini became one of the most infamous Berserk apostles by opposing guts in a genuinely disturbing story arc. The original manga's nightmarish lost children story arc culminates in Guts' lengthy and closely fought battle with Rossini, one of Berserk's most memorable fight scenes. Despite Rossini's childlike personality, she proves a tenacious opponent to Guts. While a fairly minor enemy in the overall plot of Berserk, Rossini remains well known by fans thanks to being such an unsettling character, with the thematic and narrative aspects of her character and backstory being complemented by how well executed the visual design of her monstrous moth form is. Kyumanga is one of the most interesting reimaginings of the classic kaiju scene in Singular Point. Combining the design of the spider Kyumanga, the drill-handed beetle Megalon, the mantis Kamakuras, and cult classic kaiju Gigan, with each one's exoskeleton apparently housing a version of the smog monster Hidara, the singular point version of Kyumanga is a love letter to some of the lesser known kaiju of the Godzilla franchise. Like all of the kaiju in singular point, Kyumanga is depicted as significantly smaller in size than in previous depictions. The hero's excursion to a webbed up boathouse overrun by a swarm of Kyumanga feels more like something out of a horror movie than a typical kaiju movie, and yet that only makes the creature feel more insectoid and terrifying. Ostensibly a mentor and advisor to Inuyasha, Mayaga primarily exists for the sake of slapstick comedy. Despite the overarching plot being an epic historical fantasy adventure, Inuyasha includes numerous funny episodes, and Mayaga himself provides a lot of comedic moments. The old flea constantly finds novel new ways to get squashed, not helped by his habit of trying to drink Inuyasha's blood. However, he does also get moments of relevance to the plot. Mayaga often guides Inuyasha and his companions towards their next goal or advises them on people to seek out for help in their pursuit of the shards of the Shikan Jewel. Most significantly, he has saved the lives of the main cast by sucking poison out of their blood. Although the jutsu depicted in Naruto are usually conceptually and visually impressive, Shino Abarame stands out for several reasons, the creepiness factor being the most notable. Not only is Shino able to control a swarm of insects that can devour his enemy's chakra, but his entire body serves as the insect's hive. Although Shino even creeps out his allies, he is solidly on the side of good and is consistently depicted as effective and powerful. The parasitic insects are an effective method of gathering information, and he puts them to devastating effect. Coupling his powerful jutsu with a brilliant tactical mind, Shino has proven himself one of the most capable ninja in the entire franchise.